So hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to solve the problem unequal arrays. So you are given two arrays A and B, each of length n. You can perform the following operation on array A zero or more times. That is, select any two indices i and j from one to n, and i is not equal to j, and set a i is equal to a i plus two, and a j is equal to a j minus two. So we have to find the minimum number of operation required to make a and b equal. Okay. So let's understand the question. So what we are given that in one operation, what we can do that we can increment a a i by two, and in the same operation we have to decrement the j by two. Okay, and we have to find the minimum number of operation to make a and b equal. So let's take this example test case. So let's say I have this two. So how so where I can convert this two? I can say that this two you should convert to this two. Obviously they are equal, so no operation will be required. Okay. Now when I come to this five, where I can convert this five to ten or one? I can't convert this five to ten. Why? Because if I do five plus two, it will be seven. Seven plus two nine. So I can never reach ten from the five. Why? Because I can either do plus two or I can do minus two. Okay. So obviously I can never reach ten by five. So I will always reach. I can reach only five by. So I can reach one by five. So I will say five minus two one. Okay. Minus that means three and minus two will be one. Okay. So in two of two minus two, five will reach one. Now similarly six. Six plus two is eight. Eight plus two is ten. So what we are given that plus two and minus two will be considered one operation. So I will say this plus two and minus two club one operation, one operation. Okay. So in total we have taken two operation. So this is a question that we have to club plus two and minus two and say that it is one operation. Okay. This is the question. Okay. So we have this is the A array, this is the B array, and we have to convert this A array to B array and minimum operation. And in one operation we can do plus two and minus two. We have to do simultaneous. Both okay, so that's why I've clubbed it, and these are two operation. So for that, before jumping onto the approach, let's have some observation. So the first observation is odd can be converted into odd, and even can be converted into even. Why? Let's see. Let's see. let's say I have one. Let's say one. Can I convert it into four? No. Plus two, plus two, or minus two. I can only do evens, add, or even subtract. So that means one can never reach four. One can reach five. One can reach seven. One can reach three. One can reach five. Uh, eight, nine, eight, like nine. Only odds. That means one can reach only odds. Like five can reach only odds. Five can reach seven. Five can reach nine. So that is the thing. Similarly, two can even can reach even only plus two. Similarly, if I do uh six and if I do plus two, it will be eight. And eight plus two, ten. And let's say ten. And we have to reach four minus two minus two minus two. So we can say. That odd can be converted to odd and even can be converted to even. As I already told here, that five can never be converted into ten. It can only convert to one. Only. Okay. So this is the first observation. Okay. Let's come to the second observation. Second observation is sum of a and b array should be equal for converting the a to b. Why? Why? Let's see. Let's say I have array. Let's say I have this array. Okay. This is the array. Now within this array, what I can do? I can do plus two and I have to do minus two as well. So let's say my sum is initially SUM sum. Okay, this is the variable. Now when I do plus two and when I do minus two, so this will become zero and again sum will be sum. So I will say that sum will remain as it is. So when I convert A to B, I have to do plus two and minus two simultaneously, many plus two minus two anywhere. So that means my A and B sum will remain always same. Okay, this is a thing. Let's say I, uh, we have seen. That this can be converted into this. Why? Two plus five seven. Seven plus six thirteen. One plus two three. Three plus ten thirteen. Why they are converting? Because sum is equal. Why? Because when I do plus two, I am also doing minus two within the same array. That means if it has initially SUM sum, then it will again remain sum because I am doing plus two and minus two simultaneously. Okay. So this is a observation. Let's take uh, another test case similar like this. If I do sum this six, if I do this seven, it is seventeen. Why? That means it can never be converted. Why? Because within the three, I if I do five, and if I make this one, if I do plus two, it will become five. If I do minus one, it will become what? One minus two, it will become one. So I will say five and one. So obviously my sum will remain always same. This is six. This is six. So that is the thing that you have to understand. So first observation that we have made that odd can be converted to odd and even can be converted into even. Okay, that you have understood. Like you can only add odd and even multiples only plus two plus two or minus two like that. 
Second observation is sum of A and B should be equal. Why? Because within the same area, I am doing plus two. Within the same area, I am doing minus two. That means the sum of the array will remain same. So when I convert this A to B, that means element will uh, increment or decrement, but their sum will remain same. So for converting into B, sum should be same. Okay. This is the second observation. Now, third observation is every number should be converted to closest number for minimum operation. Why? Let's say, let's say plus two is one operation and, and let's change this question somewhat and minus two in one operation. Okay. For removing the confusion, I am taking like this plus two is one operation, minus two is also one operation. Both are separate operation. Okay. So when I convert three to one, it will be minus two. So, and when I convert five to seven, it will be plus two. So in total, how many operation I have taken? Uh, one plus one. So I have taken two operations. Okay, then now let's say if I convert three to seven, I will do plus two plus two. That means two operation here. And when I convert five to one, I will do minus two minus two. I will take two operation here. So in total, I have taken four operation. What you can observe? You can observe when the arrays are sorted, when they are not sorted, is thing maximum operation. Obviously, for minimum operation, the number should reach closest number. Number should reach closer number. Otherwise, you will only maximize the operation. Let's say five, five. So five is better to convert to seven, not to one, because this one is closer to three, not to five. Okay. So this is the third observation that for minimum operation, every number should be converted to closest number. Okay. Now, now let's collect all the observation. If you didn't get still now, you will get when I dry run that. Much. Okay. So first thing, for converting A to B, we have to confirm whether it is convertible or not. So how I said convertible, I already said that sum of A and B should be equal because within the same area, I'm doing plus two and minus two. So it will never change the sum of array. A. And if sum of array and sum of array B are equal, that means it is convertible. Okay. So I will say first thing is for confirming sum of A and B should be equal. Okay. Done. Now let's say I take this test case two, four, three, three. The sum of array A is 6. Sum of array B is 6. I will say, yes, it is convertible. No, it's not convertible. Why? One thing is also missing. We have to add one extra condition. What? I already said, I have one. I converted into 3. It will uh, take what? Odd will convert it into odd. And even will convert it into even. But here I have 2. When I convert to 3, it will become plus 1. And I have no option for converting 2 to any even. Okay. So we have to check, we have to check, let's say in array A, number of odd elements are, let's say here and number of even element, let's say are here. So the number of odd element and number of even element should be equal to uh, B array is odd and B array is even. So let's understand, let's say take this test case. Now this two and this two even, okay. This six, this six even, yes. So two even, two even, done. One odd, one odd, done. So we have to check whether number of evens is equal to number of events in A and B and number of odds and number of odds in A and B are equal. So that we have to check. So for confirming, first condition is sum of A and B should be equal. Okay. But this test case is not validating this. What is missing? That two can be converted into only even only because it's even. That means number of even should be equal to number of even and number of odd should be equal to number of odd. Okay. So this is the second thing for confirming that the uh, A array is convertible into B array or not. So let's try to first order this that to confirm that whether A array is convertible to B array. So what we do, firstly, I already said that the odd closer element should come to closer element only. Let's, I have already told with this test case, like this is taking two operation, this is taking four operation. Why? Because, because one is closer to three. That means in sorted position, they are better because this will be closer. Otherwise, it will go greater only. So I will say, okay, first and foremost thing is that you have to do sort A dot begin and A dot end because this will be very helpful when I have to check, uh, when I have to get the minimum number of operation. Otherwise, I will end up taking maximum operation as I already told. Okay. Now, we have to take odds array, A odds, A events, B odds, B events. Okay. These four arrays I require. Okay. Now we have to, what we have to check whether sum one and sum two are equal. Okay. So I will say, let's traverse it. 
and for every part sum one plus is equals to e of five because I have to match the sum of both. Sum two plus is equals to b of five. That means since we have to validate the sum, I will add the sum, and then we will check whether a i modulo two is not is equal to zero. That means this is a odd element of a. So if this is odd element, I will add it into odd array. Push back a of i. Else a evens. Otherwise, it is even element. Push back a of i. Similarly, I will in same iteration because it's not required to run other iteration for this because they are independent task. B odds dot push back bi. Else it is an even element. Push back b of i. Okay. Now, now at the end for this is a confirmation. Confirmation that a is convertible into b. That is someone is not is equal to some two. Okay. If someone is not is equal to some two, that is that means it is not convertible or or the number of odds dot size is not equal to b odds dot size and number of evens dot size is not equal to b evens dot size that is not required why why let's say a odd is three let's say a odd is three and b odd is three so obviously b even will be four so then it will be four if it is two if it is two and then it is three it will obviously change it will obviously change so i will say it is not required to check even because if odds are equal, obviously evens will also be equal. Na? So that is the thing. So confirmation, if it is not confirmed that A is converted to B, that means return minus one. That it is never convertible. Okay. Now, now comes the main part. How many operation, minimum operation I need to take to convert A into B. So for that, let's try in the approach. Now, let's take this test case. Let's take this test case 2, 5, 6, 1, 2, 10. 2, 5, 6, 1, 2, 10. So I will say, for first collect all events, one part, and first collect odds in one part. So 2, 6, and 1, 2 will collect here all events, and all odds will collect here like this. Okay. So I think this is wrong. This should be 2 and these are events. So here it should be 2 and 10. It should be 1. Okay. Now, now you can see one thing. Now let's see. This is zero operation. This is plus two, plus two. This is now this is minus two, minus two, two operation. Now, now here you can see that if I add twos, this will be four. If I add twos, this will be four. So four plus four is equals to eight. So in total eight. So what that means? Plus two, minus two, plus two, minus two, plus two and minus two because they are simultaneous tasks. We have to pair them up. This is one operation. This is one operation. That means if I add these twos, two plus two, four. So for four sum, we have one operation. For four sum, if I take two and two and I add this up, this will make one operation. So I will say, I will say that, let's see, let's see when I run the for loop, long, long answer is equal to zero. Let's see. Now what I do when I travel, let's say odds odd size. So first check the number of operation required to convert odds only, A odds to B odds. I will say answer plus is equal to absolute. Why absolute? That because I don't want to consider this minus and plus. Minus and plus. I will add two, two, two. So when I get four, I will say this is one operation. I will say this is one operation. That's why I will say absolute of A odds of I minus B odds of I. Okay. So actually I am adding twos. So, so let's say I dry in this. Let's say I dry in this. So when I do this plus two plus two, I have four. I have 4, so when I add this 8, so when I divide 8 by 4, it will be 2. That means 2 operation required. Why? Why? Because for because for 1 operation, it's 4. So obviously for 2 operation, it's 8. So if I'm getting 8, that is 2 operation. So it's somewhat, you have to use copy pen for this. And next is similarly evens dot size. I plus plus, and I will say answer plus is equal to absolute of A evens of I minus b events of i okay so at the end what i said i have to count only two two plus two plus two plus two and add then divide by four so this was the code so let's try to compare it in the code and check whether it's working fine so yes so let's first wrap up the code why i'm sorting first thing why i'm sorting sorting so as to get closer element should remain closer okay? closer element should remain closer why why we want to make closer because to get minimum operation we have to get minimum operation 
That's it. Okay. Now, why I'm doing sum? Because I have observed if I'm doing plus two and minus two, it will segregate. It will also remain sum one. Is remain sum one only. Sum one plus two, sum one minus two is like let's say I have like this. Sum one plus two and minus two. If I do plus two, many plus two, many minus two, many operation, it will uh, cancel out each other. It will remain sum one. So I will say if I'm converting into B, that means sum one should be equal to sum two. And if it is not equal, that means it is not convertible. Secondly, I have taken one test case when it is convertible. We have said yes, sum is equal, but actually it's not convertible. Why? Because number of events should match number of events. So that's why I said number of odds and number of events should match. Obviously, if odds are not matching, so how even could match? And if odds are matching, even will obviously match. Okay, number of events. Okay, now add then if I am confirmed that A is converted to B. Now what I do, as I already said, plus two, minus two, these all things. If I do plus two, and if I do minus two, plus two, minus two, let's say many, many, plus two, minus two, anywhere, let's say. And let's say I count these two, two plus two, plus two, plus two. If I add, this will become two, four, eight, eight, two, four, six, eight. Yes, it will become 16. So I will do 16 by four, that is four, because one, one, two, three, four. I will say this is four operations, okay? So this was something that I found, observation. So let's try to submit the code and check whether it's working fine. So yes, it's totally working fine. So this was something, a question that is something of CP type. So you don't have to worry that you don't get the intuition. So if you like the explanation, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you and have a nice day.